The VolQuest Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Craven Wings. Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price. Craven Wings Two Minute Drill on this Thursday. Got to listen to Josh Heupel for the final time before the UT Martin game coming up Saturday at noon. Brent, I, the biggest thing I took away, and there wasn't a whole lot to take, but Jalen Wright has impressed the coach with how he's ran the ball the last couple of games, but specifically called last week his best week. Yeah, I mean, I think he ran tough, and he ran through some tackles. He, his vision was better. Um, that offensive line's moving people, and, yep. and that's helping that run game. And I think it's given Jalen Wright, I think it's given Jabari Small a lot of confidence and something that they're trying to build on this week against UT Martin. My biggest takeaway is Josh Heupel seems happy with this team and the maturity that they've shown this yeah. week. Listen. Has anybody talked about anything other than Alabama for four days? No. No. And, and, and look, the schedule sets up per, you know, well for Tennessee. But, but in listening to Josh Heupel last night, talking to him at Vol Calls, and then obviously today, this team showed some maturity this week. Everybody wonders how they would handle success. I think for the most part they've been solid this week on the practice field. Then when you look at you know, kind of what they want to try to get done Saturday, get in, get out get a lead and, and play a bunch of young kids. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is your last chance to really develop some guys. You know, now you may have to play a young guy in, in an emergency situation, as we saw at the end of the game against Alabama, next guy up mentality. But when you have a chance to work some guys, you want to do that. James Pierce comes to mind for me on, on defense. Dylan Sampson on offense. Maybe some of those young receivers. Get in, get out. If anybody's close, put them in straight clothes, right? I mean, Cedric <laughs> Tillman, no, not this week. I know you want to play, but give it another week. Um, you know, Christian Charles, if you got a tender hamstring, get well. I mean, I think this is the type of game where you don't take any chances with anybody uh, to try to push them back because you need all hands on deck starting with Kentucky moving to the rest of the season. Yeah, I, I I'll say this. I think this is a big week for, for some of those receivers, whether it be Chaz Nimrod, Caleb Webb, Jimmy Calloway, Walker Merrill. You know, to me, th those are the guys that need to, you know, play a lot this week because you're right. I mean, they're playing such a small rotation on the offensive side of the ball, period, but specifically a receiver, you know, no reason to, to mess with any of the, the Hyatts, Brews, those type players outside of maybe a quarter or two. Well, and I think the other thing, too, is you want to keep those guys engaged, okay? I mean, it, I mean, you want to keep them to where they're continuing to improve on the practice field. If you go to the practice field and you know you're not going to play, I mean, you talk to enough players who have redshirted back before the four-game rule went into effect. Yeah. It's really hard. The month of November is brutal because it's a long season. You know you're not going to play. It's hard to continue to develop the way that you want to. So if you get them in the game and get them a feel for things, they get an idea of where they are and, and let them play and, and help continue their development the back half of the season. He is Brent Hubbs. I'm Austin Price. Craven Wings 2-Minute Drill. Don't forget all three locations at Seymour, Chodo, and Maribel. When you're Craven Wings, it's got to be Craven Wings. Online at CravenWings.com.